and find out what exactly your burning desire questions are. You, there's something inside you you want to know. Something that maybe can't be Googled. <laughs> I love that when I get on Twitter. When's the new season of uh, Castle going to start? Salt Lake City, the visitors. <laughs> Some things you need to get from the source. <laughs> or me. <laughs> so we yeah, have microphones. Uh, do you want to start over here? Some questions? Dr. Strange. Nicely done. <laughs> um, Captain, I was wondering. Uh, <laughs> As someone who's teased about it a lot as a kid, um, have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons? And if you were, say, invited by, I don't know, Will Wheaton to play a board game with him, would you do it? <laughs> Chris Pelche uh, was a friend of mine in seventh grade, and he invited me over, and his older brother uh, was the dungeon master, and we were playing Dungeons and Dragons. It took. <laughs> So long. <laughs> when is something gonna happen? My favorite part of playing Dungeons and Dragons was uh, rolling the dice and figuring out my character and then drawing him. This is, this is my guy. That's that sword we were talking about. It's not bad. But I found the game itself to be a little drawn up. <laughs> But my favorite part about playing the game was drawing things out. Anyway, <laughs> would I ever play a board game with Will Wheaton? My practice is never start playing a game you know you can't win. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care what you think when you look at Will Wheaton, but that kid's smart. <laughs> Take it from me. Thank you very much, my friend. Is there another one on this side? Is there another question? Two pots. Yes, um, you clearly had a lot of experience working with Joss Whedon. Clearly. Um, I was wondering uh, what it was like working with him as opposed to other directors and any special things about working with Joss Whedon. First of all, uh, I don't care who you are, someone's going to ask you a question and you go, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know, um, maybe uh, we could do it like this. Never Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon has it all planned out. <laughs> the lights, the time of day, the hair, the clothes, the music, the pace, the camera angle. Exactly. It's, he knows before it starts. Also, he has a very pleasant way of, and it's an art. Everybody has an idea. Joss has a very pleasant way of saying no when your idea <laughs> sucks. I come up with a lot of ideas. 98% of which are terrible. Joss will say something along the lines of, yeah, or, <laughs> and then say something brilliant, and you go, oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Or he'll say, that's an amazing idea. Nope, wait, the other thing. He has a way of, of um, when it's really necessary that he says no, he has a way of saying no doesn't make you feel like an asshole. Is there anybody under the age of 18 here? 16? <laughs> Sorry, a hole or a tummy. I say tummy. He has a way of not making you feel like a tummy. <laughs> Excellent question, both of you. Over here? Hi, my name is Seth, and I was curious, do you have waking nightmares or are you just trying to ignore it? the role of the whiny little crybaby in Saving Private Ryan. I just recently did a, a benefit at the Geffen Theater in Los Angeles. I uh, did a benefit honoring a, a 
uh, a fellow from Walt Disney, Al Horn, and Steve Martin. Um, there was a lot of big, I didn't know, but there was a lot of big major Hollywood players in the audience. And they said, hey, would you come down? There's going to be a bunch of actors. And they're going to just tell a story about backstage or behind the scenes. I said, sure, sounds great. And I, I wrote this kind of, I wrote this story about my experience on Saving Private Ryan, which was my very first film. I was 25 years old. I had no idea what I was doing. I'd never been to London. I'd never been Europe to the UK. I'd never been across the ocean like that. It was a lot of firsts. I was very excited. And then, and then I met a man named Dale Dye. And this story I told was a horrifying story. Uh, where this, this, this fellow, Dale, Dale Dye, was, joined the Marine Corps in 1964. He had 31 combat missions, two Bronze Stars, a Purple Heart. This guy is a hard ass. And now he's a military advisor for films. And he's the guy who put the cast of Saving Private Ryan. Did you ever hear that story? They went through basic training, and then one night they said, this blows, let's not do this anymore. And they said, let's take a vote. And the only person to vote to stay was Tom Hanks. <laughs> and y'all went, all right, we'll stay too. <laughs> Dale Dye, I came out and I'm all dressed up in World War II outfit. Everybody, all the background, they're all British military personnel, they're all dressed up in World War II outfits. Dale Dye comes strolling out and he starts setting his background. He goes, you, watch over there by that building, you, over there by that dead horse. And he comes to me and he says, you, you see that pile of bricks way at the end of that road? I want you on the other side of those. <laughs> I said, oh, because someone had just told me, hey, stay right here. Steven Spielberg will be right here, and he'll tell you where he wants you to go. So I had my orders. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, yeah, I want you on the other side of those. And he turns around and said, I got to stay here. And he stops. <laughs> <laughs> He's dressed up in World War II outfit, too. And he outranks me. Everybody who was there, all these guys I met that morning, and they're all nice fellas and really cool, they all go like this. <laughs> 